<laughs> hello, hello, how are you? Welcome to Thursday Tea with Vanessa. I'm so happy to be here with you. I really look forward to having these lives and just bringing together and summarizing in my head, okay, what have I been thinking about the last week? What's been coming up last week in my journals and in my conversations with people and my clients over the past week? So can't wait to share with you today. We're going to chat about purpose. How do you know that you're fulfilling your purpose? How do you connect with your purpose? How do you know your next best step? in order to feel fulfilled. So that's what we'll chat about today. Today's tea. So I hope you have a tea too. Uh, it's so cute. I had a friend <laughs> reach out to me saying that she was having her tea with me last Thursday. So I hope you're having your tea with me. But today I have my Be Still cup, which I think is so perfect to chat about stillness um, because I think, or to chat about your purpose, because I think when finding your purpose, stillness has such a huge part of that. You'll have to excuse the noise. We are um, getting our patio deck finished, so I will show you when we're done. Um, but today's tea, I actually just have hot water and lemon because I love it and it's so soothing and it's awesome. Have you seen the Instagram or TikTok hack? I don't have any in here right now. But in order to store your lemons in the fridge, I've been putting our lemons like in a bowl, fill it with water, and then you put the lemons in. And the lemons legitimately lasted two months. So it was amazing. Normally our lemons always rot and dry out and then we can't use them, but lemons in water lasted two months. Loved it. Okay, so let's chat purpose. Because I get so many people, I was having this conversation with my boyfriend as well, when we really just look at, okay, what is our purpose? And I feel it too. Like we live in a world, and I say this all the time, that glorifies the hustle, that glorifies us needing to do more and have more all the time. And then connecting it back to if we don't have that, if we don't have a million dollars in our bank account, if we don't have the million dollar business or the beautiful family and beautiful relationship, then we are less than. We allow what we have and what other people say that we should have impact how we feel about ourselves. So then the internal dialogue becomes like, you are not enough. You are not worthy. You suck. <laughs> Even when I do these lives, just so you know, like doubt is always there. I have in my mind, sometimes I'll hear myself saying, oh, that was stupid. <laughs> you shouldn't have said that. Or, oh, you're in a groove or, oh, you're not doing so good right now. And so I want you to know, I tell you that because those thoughts are normal and they do not have to become you. They do not have to become who you are. And so it's so important when I'm working with my clients and when I'm sharing all of this content and information with you, I want you to know that you're not alone. I want you to know that we all have fear. We all have insecurities. We all have doubt. I'm actually part of an online summit right now, just on confidence, how to overcome our fear, our insecurities, our self-sabotage, our lack of confidence so that we can show up as our best selves. And so I'll talk about that today too, because I think it's so connected to your purpose so that we stop thinking that we need to do this, have this, be this in order to be enough. And so much of it is rooted in us not believing that we are not enough the way that we are. We are not okay the way that we are because our external environment doesn't look the way that it should. And then it becomes kind of convoluted. And here's where like manifestation comes in because it's how do you be and how do you connect with your purpose regardless of what's going on around you? How do you show up as your best self regardless of what's going on around you? How do you be your best and not have to fix anything? Because that's an addiction, right? It's an addiction that we have to always be fixing the people and our circumstances in order for us to be safe and enough and good enough. And so let's take it back because I was, I went on a little tangent there. Let's take it back. Okay. How do you be, how do you show up? How do you move through the fear and insecurities? How do you connect to your purpose so that you can show up as your best self? And that's what I'm so passionate about. Obviously I'm, uh, if you don't know, I'm a mindset and business coach. And even when I'm working with entrepreneurs, it's not about the business strategy and what we have to do. 
It's about who we need to be in order to show up as our best selves, right? I, I see a ton of likes. I'm so happy that you agree and resonate with that. And so let's come back to how do we be and show up as our best selves. And number one, and I said this on my workshop this week, and one of my clients laughed so hard. I truly believe it's about paying attention to your triggers, paying attention to how you feel. I love when my clients get triggered. I love, well, I say this, but in the moment I don't. I mean, I want to say I love when I get triggered, but I don't always because it's freaking annoying. But I know that when I get triggered, it's such a gift. And although I can't always see it in the moment, I know it is a gift. And so let's start looking at our triggers as gifts. Gifts to show us our beliefs, our thought processes, our habits that are no longer working for us. And I actually have an entire breakdown. You can go to launchyourpower.com slash trigger strategy and download my entire, I have a thing to walk you through your triggers. So I think we need to start looking at our triggers and how we're feeling. And then I really think for us to connect to our purpose, this is how this is connected. I think that our purpose, and I still lean into this because I want you to know I still have doubts sometimes. I am leaning into the fact that our purpose is about finding joy, finding love, finding happiness within us. And if we keep following the joy, keep following the light, keep following the love, and just being our best selves in the world no matter what, I truly believe, and I have seen till now, and I have to keep reminding me of the things that I've seen because I still have doubt sometimes like, oh, really? Really, Vanessa, if I follow my joy, if I follow my light, it'll all be okay and it'll all work out. And I'm leaning into the yes, because I know that when I follow the love, when I follow my joy, when I follow my light, I show up as a different person and I have more I have more creativity. I have more, I'm more connected to myself, my intuition, and I know my next best step. I have more clarity. So it's not necessarily that the joy brings that, even though it does, if you're a fan of law of attraction, fine. But if you don't like law of attraction, you can't get your head around that. Don't think about that. Think about if you're in your joy and in your love, you have more clarity. And from that clarity, you know, You know what your next best step is. You know where to go from there. And you keep following the next best step. And so much, I believe, about following your purpose is also enjoying the journey and not comparing yourself to somebody else's chapter 10 when you're on chapter one. Because if you you start comparing your chapter one to somebody else's chapter 10, it will immediately rob you of your purpose and your happiness and your joy. And so if we connect back to showing up as your best self and finding your purpose, if you, if your purpose is to connect to your light, connect to your joy, show up as the highest version of you so that you have clarity for your next step. That also means we have to put our blinders on. We can't be worrying about what other people are doing, what other people think about us, because then we fall into comparison, we fall into doubt, and then we lose all of our light and then lose our purpose because the only person that can do whatever you're here to do, and I don't even want to think that there's that one thing, you know, look at what your skills are, look at what your talents are, look at what you enjoy doing, but If you start comparing to everybody else around you, you're going to lose track. You're going to get off track because only you can do whatever it is that you're meant to do in the way that you can do it. And that's where we start comparing and we're going, oh, well, there's so many content creators. There's so many coaches. There's so many actors. There's so many singers. There's so many whatever authors, whatever you feel called and excited to create not because you should, but because you really love it, then you have to know that only you can do it in the way that you can do it. Because even for, think about yourself, how many 
I love self-development and mindset, obviously. <laughs> That's why I do it for a living. But there's books that resonate more with me than other people. And we all need that person. And I hope that's why I share content and hoping that some of this resonates with you and some of it will help you along the way. Maybe you like my stuff, maybe you hate it and that's okay. But I hope that it helps you in some way. See, we have our people <laughs> coming in. So I'm trying to ignore it, but the phone call got me. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's just like what I've been thinking the past week about purpose and the conversations that I've been having and following that joy, because I have to tell you that it's not always easy not to compare yourself, keeping those blinders on. And when I keep the blinders on, what that looks like for me is stillness. This is why it's so perfect that I pulled this mug today is stillness. It looks like journaling. It looks like me time. It looks like a lot of me time <laughs> reflection connection, connection with myself, connection with my body. And if I'm being really honest with myself, it all boils down when I try to connect to my light. And when I connect to my purpose, I keep asking myself, and this was actually given to me by one of my mentors. She's amazing, Sarah Landon. And she talks about making your body the most beautiful, harmonious, peaceful, loving place on earth. And so that's my goal. And if I am really honest with myself of how to make myself the most peaceful, loving place on earth, I have to get really, really honest about what's, what my thoughts are. And this comes back to the triggers that we were talking about in the beginning of this chat today. You have to get super honest with yourself. How are you talking to yourself in every moment of the day? And that's why when I have my blinders on and I'm connecting to my purpose, I have more stillness because I have to move slower. I have to move slower to know what am I actually talking about? What am I seeing? And what, what's going on in here? Because in here, that's my only job. Maybe that's my purpose <laughs> to, to get what's right going on in here. Because this is the only life you're going to have, the only body you're going to have. And you have to start being your own best friend, your own cheerleader. Because it all starts within. And that's where even when I first started, I, I'll, I think I should, I'll do it alive, just like all about my story. But when I first, when I was younger and I was an entrepreneur and I was like subscribing to the hustle and grind and just not seeing the results that I wanted, it was all because of this. I knew everything, what I thought I did. Now I know I, I know nothing, but I thought I knew everything. I'm like, I got this, like law of attraction, manifestation, feeling good, but I wasn't actually being that. So I knew it in my head, but when it came to my actions, when it came to how I was interacting, when it came to what I thought about others and I thought about myself, when it came to how I was interacting with food and my body and exercising, not in alignment with what I knew. And so what I did in that moment, when I wanted to find my blind spots, discover my blind spots and really <clears throat> level up and embody the highest version of me so that I could find my dream relationship, move into my dream home, create the most amazing business with the most beautiful clients and connect deeper with my body and create success and whatever success means to you. Check that. But in order to get all of that, and it makes me feel all warm inside saying that because I don't always acknowledge my wins as often as I should. And I don't share them as often as I should. But getting all of those things, which I have right now, and maybe they'll leave, but I have them right now. It was because I got this in check. I hired a coach to point out my blind spots and to show me, no, nope, that's not where you're aligning. Right there, when you did that, that's not that's not right. That's not how you show up as your best self. So I really encourage you to get super clear on what is your purpose? How do you want to feel every day? How do you want to show up? What does it look like for you to show up as your highest self? And how can you get there? So if you want support, let me know. I do have VIP days and a 90 day transformation experience where I can walk you through connecting with your purpose, connecting with yourself and shifting 
the habits that are no longer serving you so that you can step into your highest self and create the success that you want. Because let me tell you, you think it's about the money. You think it's about the relationship. You think it's about the business, then it's not. It's about you. And so that's why I'm so blessed to bring in the mindset and the business because it always starts with self. And then it goes out. Because once you start with self and connect to your purpose, how you want to show up and how you want to live, then it trickles out into your relationships, into your finances, into your career, into your family. But it starts with you. So stop getting so attached to your external environment and turn inward. I am always reminded of that because your external environment comes and goes. And even this week, I was just reminded, blinders on, stay true to yourself, know your worth, come into your love, come into your light, come into your power and create from there. Never doubt and lean into that because it just lowers your vibration and everything that is meant for you can't find you when you're there. So stay in your power, stay in your light, stay in your love. And I also like staying in my love so that I can share it with you because I know that me, I, number one, I stay in my love and light for me, but when I do that and share, I also hope that it ignites it within you because I truly believe that we are here to raise the consciousness of the world and the planet. (laughs) Have you seen the movie? uh, what, What the heck is the movie called? we crashed about we work and she's all about raising the consciousness of the planet so whenever i say raising consciousness i always think of that that series now it's a great series but um anyways i laugh and i digress but part of that and if you believe raising your consciousness is whatever you believe i believe that raising your consciousness is the same as highest self is the same as connecting with god is the same as source just feel good that is your job to feel good, find your joy, find your love, and then keep taking your next best step. Enjoy the journey and don't worry about what anybody else thinks, what any else, what anybody else says, just keep leaning in. You got this. And I'm here to support you and cheer you on the entire way. So that was my little rant (laughs) Um, for today. You guys have this funniest comments. I love it. Oh, you are so sweet. Thank you. Sending you so much love. And I hope you under, I hope you enjoyed today's purpose rant and talk and tea with Vanessa. I enjoy being here. I hope it resonates with you and let me know too, what you want me to talk about on these lives. I want to also chat about community and my experiences and my story. Maybe I'll share my story next week. That feels good. But I can also, I also want to show you my smoothies, my favorite smoothie and how I make Italian pasta sauce and pasta. We're just going to have fun. We've got every Thursday together. So sending you so much love. I hope you have a beautiful day and sending you all of my love and light because it's within you too. I love you so much. Have a beautiful day. Bye.